Welcome to the Living with Grace series. In this session, we will be talking about non-striving. Non-striving in the context of living with grace is a concept that stems from mindfulness and the practice of being in the present moment. It encourages us to embrace life without constantly seeking to change or achieve something. Instead, it invites us to appreciate the beauty and the richness of the present moment and accept it as it is. And this is without the need for external validation or accomplishment. As John Kabat-Zinn says, non-striving is trying less and being more. And in a society that often encourages constant ambition and achievement, non-striving teaches us the value of simply being. It's about finding contentment in the present moment rather than constantly pursuing more. By embracing non-striving, we can savor the beauty of life as it unfolds. Living with grace involves cultivating a sense of inner peace, contentment, and tranquility. And non-striving plays a crucial role in achieving these qualities. Non-striving promotes contentment with the here and now, It encourages us to find happiness and fulfillment in the present moment. And this is rather than relentlessly pursuing future goals and constantly desiring more. It also invites us to let go of the need to control every aspect of our lives. When we release this need to control, we accept the natural flow of life without struggling or resisting against it. And in doing so, this can help to reduce unnecessary stress and anxiety. So to practice non-striving, we must be mindful. We must pay attention to what is happening in the present moment without judgment or a desire to change it. And it isn't about resignation in action or passive acceptance, but rather it's about making the space or creating the clarity to thoughtfully move forward from. So non-striving fosters an attitude of appreciation for the simple and beautiful aspects of life. It allows us to find joy in the ordinary, the everyday and the mundane. It encourages detachment from outcomes and results. When we don't fixate on specific goals, we can experience a sense of liberation and freedom from the stress of achievement. Living with grace and non-striving involves acknowledging and accepting our imperfections and the imperfections of the world. It's an understanding that perfection is not a realistic, nor is it a necessary goal. So in essence, non-striving is a key component of living with grace because it shifts our focus from the future or the past to the present moment. By practicing non-striving, we can find peace, we can find acceptance and a deeper connection to the world around us. It's truly about living a life with an open heart, embracing the beauty of each moment and finding contentment in the journey itself rather than fixating on destinations or outcomes. So we're now going to be moving into a reflection to explore non-striving a bit further. And I'd like to invite you to take a moment to find a comfortable seat. Maybe as I say this, you notice a sense of striving. Maybe striving to have the perfect posture, striving to find the best seat possible. Maybe striving to have the body look or feel a certain way. And if this is the case, see if it's possible to let this go. We're not striving to get rid of any aches or pains. We're just doing what we can to be comfortable and to settle in an easeful seat. And then I'd like to invite you to soften the gaze or close the eyes if that feels right. And now tuning into the breath in the body. 
staying with the natural rhythm of the breath cycle. And maybe noticing if there's a desire for the breath to be different than it is. Maybe you're wishing for the breath to be shorter or longer or deeper. And if this is the case, seeing if it's possible to allow the breath to be just as it is, not trying to make it any other way. Just continuing to stay with the breath. Breath by breath, moment by moment. And as we're practicing, perhaps you've noticed some thoughts arising, this very natural and normal part of meditating. And as you notice these thoughts arising, how are you meeting them? Are you wishing that they wouldn't be there? Are you striving to be the quote unquote perfect meditator? Are you striving to practice without thoughts arising in the mind? Knowing that even the best of meditators have thoughts while they practice. We're not trying to rid ourselves of thoughts. They're part of the practice. They arise and then we gently let them go and return back to the breath in the body. So if you're striving, just see if you can let that go. Letting it go without judgment and returning to the breath and the body. Not wishing the practice to be any different than it is. Just continuing to give yourself permission to be with what's unfolding. And if you're striving for your practice to be some way, what's it like to be able to let this go? Does this then inform your practice? Now just gently letting go of this practice, opening your eyes whenever you're ready if they've been closed. And we'd like to invite you to pay attention to the stillness that comes with not doing and see if you can appreciate the depth of what it means to simply be. Thank you for your practice.